Right, what is going on, guys? This is your boy XONX here, bringing you guys another tutorial, after After Effects tutorial. And in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do pan and crop, which is screen pump and screen shaking or whatever. But just have to do with something with the screen. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what the fuck I'm talking about. But uh, let me open the video real quick. I should open this shit. Oh no, hell no. All right. We don't need a player. Hold on. This. Yeah, that screen pump. Like you can see, just look at the uh, heads-up display on the uh, four on the uh, corners, and you can see it like. Pump. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So. Uh, hold on, what the fuck is this? I don't give a shit. All right, so I already have a perfectly, I already have a set clip, a clip that is uh, sync here. So let us watch it. Oh, let it ram preview again. I haven't do anything to the clip, to this clip. All I have, all I've done is to sync it with the uh, the music. So yeah. Something like that, and the reason, the reason being, I added this grip over here, it's because I, uh, I want, I want you guys to see like a little bit better about like what the fuck is going on with the screen. So let me make a uh, new adjustment layer, which is Control Alt Y. Hold on, Control Alt Y, or you could go up here and you know go to layers and add a new adjustment layer. But I'm not gonna do that. So make sure to set it under the uh, black, bar, your black bar, and. All I g I'm gonna rename this to pan. Oh shit! Uh, and crop. Now all you need to do is go. I, I'm <clears throat> okay. In this episode, I'm gonna be teach teaching you guys how to do the uh, screen pump manually. I don't like it. I don't like it. To I don't like to do it uh, automat automatically because it doesn't give the uh, feelings to the uh, you know the screen pump. So just go to your uh, effects and preset. Type in transform. Drag it onto your uh, adjustment layer. And I already have these markers set on the uh, the uh, music, the uh, song I have here. It's it's all like right before the high peaks of the uh, you know the music. So it's something like this. Yeah, you can see the uh, the high peak. So let me just go onto the adjustment layer and press and set a keyframe there. I had just 06 right there and go to the next one. Set another, press U on the adjustment layer, and you can see all the keyframes. And set another one over there. Just set, just set all the uh, same, and just set a, a value. Just set the uh, <coughs> a keyframe on all of these markers. And something you have to be sure about: all the values must be like you know the uh, must be at the uh, what do you call that? The value that you want your screen pump to be at the highest point. So. And what I meant by that is it it doesn't it is it just gotta be the uh, point where the uh, screen is like the uh, largest and you don't want it to you don't want it to set it at like hundred otherwise you, it'll look really really bad in our world and yeah so and I like to set the uh, last one on a clip if there's like a cinematic f to uh, finish it off then I'll, I like to say set it on hundred so there you go now let me uh select all of these keyframes press F9 to easy ease them or you could go to or you could right click on these keyframes go to keyframe assistance and easy ease them alright now with all, with all that said I will first I'll keep uh, these keyframes selected and go to our graph editor and you can see these beautiful beautiful stuff okay now now you just have to all you have to do is to click is to drag these down about to like hundred, about when the uh, value hits hundred. Now some might look stupid. Uh, you gotta adjust them, adjust them a little bit like this, like that. And these are not there, so you just all, all you have to do to all to uh, select these and drag them down, drag them down just like others. All right, there we go. Now you don't want your uh, you don't want your screen pump to look like a U shape. That'll be little. That is that would be what the automatic system like 
automatic screen pump done do so this is this is what I like to do I'll usually drag it so we'll drag drag this one over there over here so it like stays up here a little bit more than usual so that is it now let, let us click out this wait did, did this save or no yep it does okay now let us click out this stupid ass <laughs> now let us click now let, oh my god let us be back here and let's watch this thing Alright, I can't fucking speak, I just woke up, god damn it. God damn it! Fuck! Yeah, you can see the uh, screen is a little bit already, like, you know, you know, you know, yeah. Hold on, let me, uh, let me adjust the clip a little bit. There. You know what? For a better experience, why not make it fit? It's gonna take more time to render, but why the fuck not? Yeah, what the fuck not? Got my hands, and I'm actually going to Japan tomorrow, and I'm taking this time to make make three videos. One is the Acho uh, promo, and one is the Kakam uh, you guys saw yesterday, and yeah. Just for a better understanding, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh, the uh, grid off. There, it's gonna take more time to render, which I am not appreciate of. Yeah, it's pretty. It looks. It looks pretty cool. So you know that is it for this episode. And I hopefully you guys learn something from this. And hopefully you guys you enjoy. So make sure to believe a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later in the future episode. Peace.